So this week we are going to be reading the story Gus Takes the Train. But before we do that, I want to um, go over some really important sight words that we will be seeing in this story. And the first one is many. Many means a lot of something. Many people went to the Butterfly Museum. How many friends will you invite to your birthday party? Many. M-A-N-Y. There are many cars on the streets. The next word we'll be seeing a lot of is friend. She likes to ride the bus with her friend. A friend is a person to play with. A friend is a person who helps you. F-R-I-E-N-D, friend. The next word is fool. This train is always full of people. Full means that you cannot put anything else into something. F-U-L-L, full. Pool. He can pull his pet in the wagon. Pool means to bring something towards you. P-U-L-L, -L, pool. Hold. She can hold her phone in her hand. Hold means to take something or keep something in your hands. Please hold the camera still when you take the picture. Hold. H-O-L-D. Hold. And our last sight word of the week. The ferry is a good way to see the city. Good is our sight word. Good means that you like something. G-O-O-D. Good. Now, before we get started, I want to talk about one other thing, um, and it's called story structure. So, a story has different parts in it. I'm sure we all know that, right? Can you guys think of some parts that you know about? Last week, we talked about beginning, middle, and end. And this week, the parts that we're going to talk about are the characters, the setting, and the plot. So the characters are the people and the animals in the story. The setting is where it takes place. So at the house, at the train station, at school, that would be the setting. The plot is the story events. So what happens in the, the story? What makes it exciting? Um, and then it is the problem the characters have to solve. Um, and how they solve it. So I am going to read to us, Gus Takes the Train. Um, it is a fantasy story. A fantasy is um, a story that couldn't really happen in real life. So as we're reading, I want you to look for events that couldn't really happen. I want you to look for animal characters that act like people. Okay. So Gus Takes the Train. Gus has to run to get to the train. He has a big bag to pull. Run, Gus, run! Gus cannot pull up his bag. The conductor can help him. The train is full. Gus can see many kids. So how do we know this is a fantasy so far? Yeah, we have a kitty cat that's taking a bag on the train. Would that happen in real life? Ooh, what else do we see back here? What about this pup? Look at that dog. So silly. Gus sat. His big bag can go up here. Gus met a friend. Peg and Gus sing and play. So who are the characters in this story so far? Yeah, Gus and Peg. 
Very good. Peg and Gus sing and play. Peg can hold the cups for Gus. Peg and Gus have a sip. It is good. Gus can see a lot. A funny bug is on the window. We are here! Gus had fun on the train. Alright, so what was our setting? Where did it, the story take place? Yeah, it took place on the train. Very good, so that's our setting. And then what was the plot? What happened throughout the story? We're kind of looking for the details here, the, the important parts of the story. So he was trying to catch the uh, train and then he found a friend, right? Okay, and what did him and his friend do? They, they had fun. They sang and played and they, um, it looks like they were drinking milk. It looked like they were going to the zoo. So those, are, that's our characters, our setting and our plot in that story.